Ensemble under the direction of Matthew Cole. My hope for this is that they find a real enjoyment for getting to come together. Um, particularly in the aspect that with having freshmen and sophomores in here who maybe it's their first year with us or just their second year with us, and then having juniors and seniors who have had a chance to develop some more leadership skills and have that experience where they're, they're able to focus on more of a macro perspective of everything going on rather than just the survival. Because as first year, it's a lot of times thinking, okay, I, got, I, I need to survive. Like, what, what am I supposed to do? You are all moving how many steps? Eight. Eight. At what kind of time? Half time. How many clicks on the Met for every one step? Two. Will you actually say left, right to help our novice marchers out as we do this? Here we go. Everybody's in. 46 to 47. I hope that the field show brings all of our band members together so that those who are in concert band or symphonic or percussion or wind symphony, whether the, whatever their ensemble they're in, they build a relationship with each other so that like even for camp, by the time we start school this year, there's 154 other people they're already connected with that know who that person is. So that when we're in a school that's got 2,700 plus, that they're not just a face in the amongst the crowd that they're actually when band members pass each other there's a connection and they they recognize that and they, they have that support um, the other thing is that when we get to do this and we get to play outside you get to put out some sound it's not where you're in a tiny practice room and you're by yourself. It's the biggest social aspect that we have in, in music. So we get an opportunity to be able to just develop our lungs, develop good uh, air support, great sound, and then we develop a whole new level. It's like the Ferrari of dynamic ranges out there. There's so much going on in Field Show between people moving around, between a drum line and a front ensemble, uh, the woodwinds and the brass and the color guard and the props. There's so much going on that it becomes its own uh, amazing performance of a show. It's way more than just sitting there and doing a concert, you know, where it's pretty docile, but the audience is invited to clap in the middle of it for the impact points. They get a chance to be able to provide input and come up with uh, opportunities to do some visuals and some movements. And it's set up so much that when you see a field show, you can't just watch one time without with seeing everything. You have to see it a couple of times to be able to catch, oh, I didn't realize that last time or that last time. When the students watch themselves and get excited about things on there, when they see things that they're doing and get excited about it, um, when they bring ideas about, hey, can we try this or can we do that? Yes. I always would rather let's try it and see if we don't like it, we can scrap it. But let's never discard an idea um, or some input 
uh, initially. I want to let's let's try it. Who knows? Um, because it always keeps it helps keep me open minded as a teacher and learn that there's so many creative ways out there. And that's what the cool part of the show is. The it's not me choosing what the concert literature is where I feel it's what's best to for the students in terms of what really um, helps shine a light on their strengths but challenges their areas of potential. It's one where when the field show occurs, I really get excited when I see 50 some parents out there all proud of their students and helping out in different ways. Or when the students come off the field and they give me that look like, we know we just did a good job. And they get to hear their name called and um, the opportunity to see a drill writer who writes the routine, musicians who come in and uh, our students who create that, the color guard who, the color guard coach who helps write the drill or write the routine for it, the drum majors who come up with like what their salute is and where to stand, and then the staff who are coming in to like, how do we help them get as good as we can? I really get excited um, when I see students get excited about things that we're working together to do and they get a chance to see sometimes arguably the most amazing and positive collaborative success. Everybody being on the same plane, having a job to do out there and we do it, um, that brings not only themselves enjoyment for the quality that they've created, but to audience members and inspiring to kids and just the staff and the faculty and the, the mayor and the principal and just an opportunity to be able to say, yeah, I did that. That's really, really exciting. I stepped up and did something that maybe at the beginning I didn't think I could do. So every year it's putting faith into the students because again, we do this, but it's not successful without students. And I can be excited about it, but until it, the students are like, yeah, let's do this, it, it wouldn't work. So I put my faith in the students every, every fall and say, let's do this together and I'll be right there every step, every windy day, every sunny day, every rehearsal, every performance. I'll be with you on the field, on the sidelines. I'll not leave your side. We'll do this together. And when we achieve success, that's that time for you to know that you did an amazing job. Oh, it's on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Seeing individual students make huge accomplishments and then learning that their individual effort added to their section, added to the ensemble, was able to achieve tonight's performance, which is, oh my gosh, like it was the show that we were hoping for and that we knew that they could do, and they did it. And to be able to see them walk off the field knowing that they did an amazing job. Not asking, hey, was that good? Can we do it? To be able to walk off with that confidence. They were hungry for success and they achieved it.